YouTube back with another video hope everyone is doing well today I'm going to be giving you guys a update on the Tacoma basically what I'm gonna go over is the modifications that I've done so far on the truck and uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys I'm not going to put a lot of mods into this it came already with a lot of things that I wanted on it so um, this will probably be one of two modification videos for the rest of this year um, in 2021 I'm probably going to end up needing some new tires so I may just go ahead and get some new wheels and tires next year and I'll do a video on that but other than that you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make this video short and sweet so um, I'll go ahead and start off with if you remember the, the the first video I did when I introduced you to the truck I did show some things that the previous owner already did so I'm just gonna go over specifically the things that I have done what I think you guys should definitely do from the beginning if you don't have these modifications to your truck already if you already have them um, well then maybe some of the other ones that I have uh, can be useful for you I will also put a link to all of these items in the description below so um, you'll be able to easily just click on the link and uh, find these products now I will tell you this since I've owned the Tacoma it's been about a month now this is one of those trucks where you can end up spending a lot of money on mods just by being bored like easily I'll sit at home and I'll just look on Amazon or I'll look through the Tacoma world tread or, um, threads or something and uh, you know start reading and, and seeing different modifications that people have done or I'll go on YouTube and seeing all of these cool items that people have bought for their trucks and they can start to add up even from the things that I've added so far to this truck have started to add up I've only had one other truck where I've put a lot of money into it with modifications and that was an older um, GMC Yukon the two-door ones from back in the day and I don't want to go that route so I'm, I'm from what I have right now I'm going to go ahead and try to stop uh, from adding mods because you will end up buying a lot of things you really don't need that yeah it may look cool or you know you may think you need it or want it but it really it doesn't matter like for example I was just searching like how to get my uh, chrome indoor door handles black instead of chrome like should I vinyl you know put a vinyl wrap on it or should I just replace them with black door handles and it's like do I really does it really matter if I need black door handles uh, even the chrome accents inside the the interior of the car I mean you can spend a couple of hundred dollars just buying kits to black those out like do I really need to black out the chrome in the interior of the car yeah it would be cool because I don't really like chrome but it's not that serious like it's just not that serious so I'm not gonna go into all of that man I bought things that I thought I definitely needed for the truck more so than just you know what let me do this cuz I got the money to just blow for the second to do it and so let me just do it no I'm, I'm not going that route on this truck cuz I can easily tell that's how you get caught up in doing a bunch of mods that you really don't need so first let me just go and do the roundabout of the truck first and I've showed this truck to you guys already so it's nothing new what I did do though is take off the actual predator steps um, and I'll talk about that in a, in a little minute when it comes to those so this is the truck in case you guys missed the first video it's already lifted it already has you know a large off-road tire but I'm gonna go bigger next year when I get some new tires and different wheels but for right now that'll do well, one thing I did add to this is the uh, front mud guard this is by AVS um, I think it was like 70 or 80 bucks off of Amazon it is a 3m um, stick on which I don't normally do but once I found out how to actually get that 3m goo off if I would decide to remove it or if it starts to come off I was more comfortable these days on buying one than I was before in the past so um, if you're interested in this I'll put a link in in the description below but it's really cool and it actually has this lifted centerpiece that um, can help deflect bugs and rocks and stuff from hitting your hood or your windshield um, also went with a uh, Dakota emblem uh, front license plate uh, instead of going with the TRD or instead of going with the um, with the actual word Toyota I just went with the emblem um, because the the grill already came with the truck but it already says Toyota on it so I didn't want to say Toyota and then go down and say Toyota so I decided to go with the emblem that is an OEM uh, original Toyota uh, license plate 
front license plate so or rear license plate but front license plate so i'll put that description below as well it came with this uh grill so i didn't do this part to it but um so i didn't need to do anything when it comes to that now when it comes to actual actually opening up the hood i've already did a video on the um oil catcher and i am going to do a follow-up of what's been collecting inside of that so i'll put a description on that below so that's another upgrade that i did which i highly recommend that and when you see the gunk that it catches you'll understand why that is needed that should be something that should be stock on every single vehicle that's manufactured but yeah it's interesting and i know i said i was going to do a follow-up um earlier because uh it is about time for oil change but i did dump a little bit out that had already collected after about two weeks and it's just disgusting on what's in there um but yeah i'll put a link in that description below if you haven't seen that video of mine check out the video where i review the uh the oil catcher i did get a um bed cover and now this was something that you know i did a lot of research on and had to kind of really decide on which one i was going to go with i definitely didn't want a soft cover i wanted the hard uh, cover for the bed and so um, there were a lot out there that I was interested in but I got this one on offer up uh, really nice nice guy sold it to me for I think I paid 300 for this this is the rough country hardcover uh, uh, bed cover uh, for the truck and I'll put a link to the description below you just go to roughcountry.com and they still have them on there I think this retails for like 550 and I bought it used for 300 um, really easy to install, really good quality, very durable. The only thing that sucks is recently, I um, recently there was a hailstorm here in Florida, and there's little small dents that you can't see because it rained. But you might, the camera might be able to pick them up. But if you're in an area where it may hail kind of often, this might not be the cover for you because it did dent it up. But those, the hail that we recently got in that storm was the size of marbles and i mean it was pretty big and so they were coming down hard luckily it didn't dent up the truck just the bed cover but you know hey nature is what it is so um another thing that i did was i took off the original uh trd 4x4 off-road emblems that came with the truck uh i definitely did not want to keep those on there because it didn't match anything on the truck i think it was like gray and red and this truck is inferno red but the red was like a bright red so um i got these off of uh, a website which i'll put down in the link below as well uh just blacked out trd 4x4 off-road easy to install um and yeah i just like the, the the overall just plain black look of it so another upgrade I did was to the fuel door cover. Um, I added the meso gas hole, um, which is basically where you put the gas cap in once you're fueling. Um, $20 accessory, I'll put a link to that below, nothing major there. So another thing I did on the exterior is I got the bumper shells. Now these right here, I highly recommend if you're trying to get rid of the chrome that's on the back bumpers, which I cannot stand those chrome bumpers. Um, I went with the bed liner model. These are kind of expensive. There's plenty of videos that show how to install. Um, I'll put a link on where to buy them, but I definitely think it makes the back um, bumper stand out. Uh, I would only go with the matte black or the bed liner texture. I went with the bed liner texture and it looks great. I'm gonna show from, a, from an angle on how they look. Uh, but they definitely um, make the back bumper part uh, stand out, you know, better than those chromes, the chrome ones would do. Uh, other than that, as far as the outside, that's all that I've done. Now let's go inside the interior. Now when it comes to the interior, the first thing that I did was I went with the uh, LED lights, of course, everyone does. You definitely need these. When you compare an LED interior light to what the stock ones are, I mean, it's really no comparison. It's really no comparison at all. You really need these lights, especially in the nighttime if you drop something or if you're looking for something. I installed them in all of the lights the dome, the vanity mirror lights, the um, everything, even the, the, tr the, uh, the back of the truck bed has them as well. Also, I have the um, 
the license plates lights have the LEDs in them. So I highly recommend those. These are by Last Fit, and I'll put a link in the description below for that. I've already went over the stereo and speakers that I have in here. That's in another video. But just in case, I'll kind of talk about it again. I have a kicker a hideaway 10-inch sub in the back, and I have the JL Audio um, 400 amp under this front seat. I have kicker speakers throughout and the kicker speakers uh, for the tweeters as well. Um, the tweeters, I actually have those Subaru uh, OEM speakers that you can buy that actually fit this truck that you'll see in the Tacoma World um, threads as well. And so, yeah, I went with those and they sound great. Um, I've already done a review on the actual amp and everything so i'm not going to go into that but i will show it to everyone just in case you may be new to the channel oh, for a second so here's where i have my actual amp there's the jl audio amp under the front seat it fits pretty well and then uh in the back here is where i have the kicker um 10 inch sub in the back and it sounds great no problems as well and so uh that's what i did with the audio the audio it isn't like bass bumping to the point where you know you're going to hear me down the street but it definitely makes a huge difference when it comes to um when it comes to the stock sound in the truck um the truck did not come with weather mats so i bought these these are the oem tacoma weather mats pretty much everyone has seen these before in the front they actually have the tacoma name tag on them so i went with these um i mean they're, they're nice usually people go with these or the weather techs either one i think would be good if you decide to get these go and offer up and try to find some locally because you can usually find these for like anywhere as cheap as 50 to 100 bucks i paid 50 for mine i actually saw one guy recently sell them for 30 but i already had a pair so uh, but it was a really good deal on these weather mats if you can get them for 50 or less uh i also went with the um I actually did a video on this as well. The uh, the leather car seats um, by Lucky, I think it's the Lucky Club or Lucky Man. I can't remember. But I did the review on these already, so I'll put a link in the description below. Really good seats. They've been holding up fine so far. I have no problems with them. Um, so I highly recommend these if you're if you if you're looking for some seat covers uh, because I've had a lot in the past, and these are definitely by far the best seat covers that I have. Uh, personally bought um, over the years and then I also went with uh, this storage unit um, kind of for, since I go mountain biking a lot I put all of my gear and stuff in this uh, this is on Amazon doesn't cost that much uh, I'm just got some velcro stickers on there as well but you can buy even multiple more things when it comes to storage and compartments but um, a lot of people have these it's funny I actually bought this before I even saw other people putting these on their videos uh, but yeah definitely good for storage I also went with these things right here which actually are little uh, clips that you put on the headrest and if you got like storage bags or something you can basically just hang them on the back right here um, of your headrest or your seat uh, and it comes in handy and just kind of folds in right there so it's not in the way uh, also went with the uh, you may see these in a lot of videos the rubber mats for all of this compartments for your drinks and beverages and storage and all of that stuff on there like even in the little compartments you see these little rubberized um, mats that come in different multiple colors uh, I went with the orange but of course they have the red and blue and black and other colors as well and the last thing that I want to show you guys is, is something that I just think is kind of cool um, but it is a LED interior light setup it is powered by the uh, cigarette lighter so it's not connected to the engine I think I paid like 40 bucks on Amazon for this again I'll put this in the description below but to me it's just really cool so when I play my music I'm not sure if this is going to pick up or not but i have like a light show down here underneath the uh on the floors and so yeah it's uh pretty cool so on both sides you can kind of see how it uh how it lights up everything down here and you can actually set it to the music as well and um you're supposed to put the other strip in the back 
you can actually see how it how it looks the actual strip but since i really don't have any passengers in the back i just decided to uh i just decided to uh put it on the sides instead of the uh instead of the instead of the back seats and yeah so i consider it at nighttime the party truck i had this thing lit up you know it's blasting it's 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 pretty fun and pretty cool so uh, other than that guys that's all of the modifications that I've done so far with the truck I don't personally see anything else that I need to do to it yeah there would be a lot of cool things I could do to it I could add some you know uh, what you call it some um, you know some some different or brighter fog lights or I could put you know some I don't know I, I could do a lot to it I could put some sliders on it I go, of course I do want to get some bigger wheels and tires but that I'll save that for next year I could black out the interior I could um you know I, I mean not the interior but I could black out all the chrome in the interior but I just I just really don't want to do all of that like to me it's just really not necessary I could get a uh, video cam for it which I may or may not do that's still up in the air for now but for right now I think I'm good I think I made all the mods that I need to make uh, for this truck at this point in time but I do have one more video coming of a mod that I'm going to do and that is the new uh, step slash running boards that I'm going to get for this truck this is the reason why I sold my predator steps I've had the predator steps on the forerunner that I had before this truck I sold them before I tra traded the uh, forerunner in when I got this vehicle it didn't have any steps on it or any sidebars or anything so I went on offer up and I found a good deal on some predator steps probably the cheapest I've ever seen them for I bought them from the guy I installed them the thing is, is I'm six foot tall and I really don't need steps to get in the truck. It really defeated the purpose of what they're for. So to me, it was more so in the way having a step and it, it, you know, decreased my ground clearance by having those predator steps. So I don't want steps anymore on this truck. If anything, I would get sliders or I would get some running boards. But as long as the running boards don't go down low or drop or have steps or anything like that, so I narrowed it down to three different ones that I that I wanted. I did a lot of research on on steps. And so uh, I went with something that I think is a little bit different that I have not seen in person. I've only seen in videos that I don't think a lot of people would have. And so they come in tomorrow. I will install them and do a video on that. I'm excited about it because there's a lot of Tacomas out there. You got to understand, from my understanding, this is like the number one selling midsize truck. And so when you have that type of, you know, um, when you have those that, that many customers of this vehicle, you start seeing a lot of people doing the same things to them. I wanted something that's a little bit different that I've not seen anybody have when it comes to these steps. And so uh, I'll just surprise you guys when I do the video on that for you, for those who are interested in, uh, in seeing that. Oh, I know what I forgot to show you guys. The tailpipe. Hold on just for a second. I forgot to show you guys. I upgraded the tailpipe. Yeah, I went with a Toyota um, OEM black tailpipe. I took off that chrome tailpipe. I knew it was something else, but I couldn't remember what. So, oh my God, I should have did a video of me trying to take that chrome tailpipe off. Man, that, that thing is, uh, it was no joke. Like you have to literally make sure that every single wiggle and pull that you do that you spray some wd-40 behind it to help it get it off i guess you know the previous owner took this off road a lot and so or not a lot but i could tell he definitely took it off road some but any type of dirt or grit that gets in there it makes it super hard to take that tailpipe off i mean it was the tightest fit that i've seen i think on any type of two items that go into each other like it was it was hard to get that thing off um i think it took me literally about over maybe an hour and 15 minutes to pull that thing off and i tried everything i tried every single thing that you could do uh i don't even think it was really worth it the work that i put into it i was literally sore the next day trying to take that thing off uh so just be prepared that um if you have a truck that's used and it's been it's got some dirt on that tailpipe you're going to be in for some work trying to take that thing off. But anyway, I think it looks a lot better. And other than that, guys, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you 
uh, found something in here that maybe you can use or like. And uh, I know it's a lot of mod videos out there, but that's just the ones that I went with. Other than that, guys, I hope everyone's doing well. I'll catch you in the next video. Be safe out here.